I'm Isre, and you're welcome to All Agricultural Farm. We talk about two livestock, snails, and poultry for now. Hi, guys, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. In this video, guys, I'll be showing you, I'm um, telling you the treatment number one, the prevention, and also the symptoms of CROD, chronic respiratory diseases. So, this chronic respiratory disease. Is one of the diseases that mostly affect poultry beds. If you don't know this disease, don't go into poultry farming. This is an advice for all poultry farmers to know. So, I'm going to tell you everything from the beginning to the end. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and share the video. So, without to too much, let's dive in. So, like this disease we call CROD, chronic respiratory disease, is a disease that um, mostly affects all poultry beds. If you want to become a poultry farmer, this is the first disease you have to know when to become a successful poultry farmer. So, this disease, I'm going to tell you first of all the symptoms or what is the disease capable of. This disease is like um, it's like disease chronic respiratory disease. It's like a disease of cough and other kind of diseases. So when you have poultry beds and you having the sign that the bed has some cough breathing in and out and also um having this um eye blo eye bulb bringing out some swelling bringing out some waters bringing out um many things from inside the eye bulb and the crab which and also the water changing color, pinkish color, and you think what kind of disease is that? It is part of CROD, chronic respiratory disease. So, I'm telling you the disease. Chronic respiratory disease is also referred to as cough, cutter, and it is also referred to as mycoplasmosis disease. Mycoplasmosis disease is a disease that affects from the parent's stock, which is when they lay the eggs, from the parent stock and you take them to the hatching, the incubation section. After hatching the eggs, the eggs act which within 20 to 21 days, and then you get them to the breeding section. After breeding, to where they matured and you sell them and buy them for it. So that disease follow the the uh, eggs to the mature stage. The disease do not believe them because. If you want the disease to leave them, I'm going to tell you all what you have to give them. Okay, so that's why I'll put the video of how um vaccination and medication of the whole cheek. The the uh, link will be on the description side. Click on it and also like that of the video. Okay, so the prevention and control or C of a uh, CROD is that. Antibiotics. I also mentioned antibiotics in a, one of on, in that video I upload the uh, vaccination and medication of the old chick. I also uh, talk about antibiotics because antibiotics is a cure of CROD, chronic respiratory disease. Okay, so because antibiotics deal with cough, catar, it fights them. Okay, so fighting of a uh, cough, which is antibiotics, when you have antibiotics it will kill all the cough okay but it will not totally kill everything because this is this this kind of disease is is a permanent is a permanent disease which is natural disease it does not finish once at a time it comes once in a year or three times to four times in a year but the way you are taking good care of your bed if it is the way uh depending on how you take good care of the bed maybe the disease will be coming in once in a month, once in a month, which is so bad. Okay, so I also give you another symptom. You'll be seeing the sign of um getting wet tree. Um, they are dropping, so be having wet tree, yellowish color, reddish color, and this is all what you have to see. I also upload the video for that. Uh, the how to administer red and yellow carcasso tablet, which can kill that wet tree. Of blood I also drop that on the description but make sure you also like that video and also share the video okay so when you have this kind of stuff like um 
your bed bringing out those bubbled eyes that droppings are changing colors wetting also coughing looking that there's no way it can even breathe there will be cough coming out that's a sign which makes okay so that's the symptoms so the prevention of big c already how do you prevent the disease from not getting get to your farm every month first of all is cleaning number one cleaning will guide you all through because those poultry feed those or are commercial poultry feed are having some issue with dust they are having some issue with dust because they are dried feed so they feed on those feed it also gives them cough that's why you don't feed them it is natural because they eat feed on that feed even if they feed on, on that feed out the acid they also are taking it naturally so they feed on those feed that's why they take they take a lot of water more than feed because water can disappear that of the dustness in that feed in our digestive system okay so giving them water will guide you through cleaning after feeding the nest they make sure you clean your poultry house okay so you have to clean it because see how it is a disease that run into your farm okay so you don't need it you have to clean it because after they are finished feeding there will still be some piece of food feed because that can turn to dust and get into their nose from their nose get into their lungs from their lungs it turns to cough and kata forming cough and kata in their uh chest okay so antibiotics is the cure okay this is mycoplasmosis disease i don't want to use all those names because i'm not used to those names i'm just giving you a sub top secret okay so applying whether you look out to guide you all through okay so this is a disease as i say from the eggs to when they are being matured that's why in most cases people are looking for baby eggs once they want to buy eggs they'll say the egg is too small the egg is too small the egg is too big uh no they don't complain about the egg is too big the egg is too small please let me give you an advice the eggs big the egg is too small all are the same thing but that one that will be saying egg is too big contains lots of percentage of microplasmosis disease why the one that are small contain little disease of microplasmosis disease that's why it's not all farm you go ahead to buy some bed there's some eggs there's some farm you go and buy some eggs you will see some of the eggs and when you get the eggs they'll be bringing out watery uh, the egg will be too soft that means there's a disease in that bed because it's a is a is a disease that affects from the eggs to the stage of mycoplasmosis disease okay so this are uh, all what to consider when coming into our uh, this business okay so mycoplasmosis disease is the kind of disease as i also say chronic respiratory disease that affects from the eggs to when the bed are uh, grow to the maturity okay so these are all the things to know you don't it's affect all the bed okay so i give you the symptoms bubbling of eyes uh crab and the water will be changing in pinkish color um they are thin uh sorry they are wetting which is dropping will be having reddish color and also bringing out some blood okay so these are the things to consider these are the things to consider when going into microplasmosis disease okay so when you have this kind of issue in your farm don't forget to go ahead to like the video okay so when you want any problem want any when you have this kind of problem and you don't know how to deal with this problem so make sure you chat me up on whatsapp my number will be on the screen and don't forget to follow me on facebook instagram and subscribe to our youtube channel so god bless you so much for watching the video see you guys in our next video bye